Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing a re-review of the complete second season of The Simpsons on DVD, uh, which I reviewed this box set many years ago when I first began my YouTube account, and that review was just dreadful. Uh, so I shall be replacing that review with this brand new updated review covering all 22 phenomenal episodes of this box set, along with a brief overview of this four-disc set in itself. Uh, so there's the front cover with a very cool reference to the one of the first, at least, uh, couch gags from this season where The Simpsons family swap heads, uh, which is incredibly creepy, especially Maggie with Homer's body, that's got to be the worst. Um, Simpsons complete second season rated PG, there's the side with Homer and Bart and the god-awful Fox logo, ugh. And uh, there's Santa's Little Helper and Snowball 2 on the back. Unfortunately, once again, I don't have the backing card, um, but it basically just listed the episodes and the special features, which is the regular stuff, such as audio commentaries, deleted scenes, uh, some really cool animatics on this box set, plus some great music videos, which are all exclusive uh, to this set, such as Do the Bartman, which is quite good. Uh, rated PG for general viewing, etc. There's the other side with Homer, uh, Mardrava, and Lisa, and then... Uh, opening this up, we have Homer and Maggie on the inside, and we can actually switch around uh, this very creepy image of the Simpsons family and replace it with a more traditional look uh, for the Simpsons. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so opening this up, we have the Simpsons family rearranging themselves, which thankfully that is not a euphemism. And uh, then we have a little letter from Matt Groening, which I believe from seasons one through to five at least, uh, they were printed on the inside of the box sets, and now they are actually inside uh, the episode guides. But hopefully you can read over that if you wish to pause and read this. Uh, so opening this up further, we have the dog and the cat rearranging themselves, and then we have the four discs. Uh, so three of them are rated PG, and the first disc bizarrely is rated U, uh, which I think is the only Simpsons DVD to be rated U, but you can actually switch around uh, the artwork of Homer's body and have Selma's head on it, or a poos, etc., which is quite cool. You can do that for all four. So we have Lisa on disc two, uh, Marge on disc three, and Bart on disc four, and Maggie sat in the corner all alone. And this is the little pouch where the episode guide is, so let's take a look at it. And here is the episode guide, so let's finally get stuck in with these episodes. Uh, so first of the disc one, we have Bart gets an F, one of my all-time favourite Simpsons episodes, as Bart uh, is threatened to be held back a grade if he does not improve on his test scores. And I just love watching him grovel on his knees, praying to God, wanting uh, a blanket of snow to fall upon Springfield so we'll have an extra day to revise. And it's quite rewarding seeing him very happy at the end where he gets the grade that he really does deserve. Um, so it's quite a cool episode. Uh, Simpson and Delilah, I really like this episode. I really like like the one-off character of Carl, spelt with a K, not a C. Um, and overall, this episode was just fantastic seeing Homer improve himself after he gets a little temporary drug uh, that actually gives him hair, which is quite humorous. Treehouse of Horror, an obvious classic. I love this episode where Bart and Lisa are sat in a treehouse telling one another stories, and I love the Raven story, uh, which is the third part to this um, Treehouse of Horror episode. Uh, two cars in every garage and three eyes on every fish, where some government agents try to shut down uh, the Springfield New Nuclear power plant after Blinky the Free Eyed Fish is discovered in the waters. Uh, Dance and Homer, quite a funny episode where the family moved to Capital City after Homer discovers he has a talent uh, for dancing like a buffoon in front of many spectators of baseball. And finally, for disc one, we have Dead Putting Society, where Bart and one of the Flanders children, Rod, I believe, uh, end up going into competition with one another at a golf tournament. And uh, Homer and Ned Flanders have their own little bet, which has a really great ending, definitely one of the best endings of the episodes. Uh, on this box set. Uh, moving on to disc two, we have Bart vs. Thanksgiving. Quite a forgettable episode, but I rewatched it and I really loved the ending uh, where Bart and Lisa have a connection at the end, which is quite cool. Uh, Bart the Daredevil, one of the most obvious and one of the best episodes ever of The Simpsons, in my opinion, uh, where Bart threatens he will jump Springfield Gorge and instead Homer does it to teach Bart a lesson, which is quite funny. Moving on, we have Itchy and Scratchy and Marge, where Marge campaigns to get Itchy and Scratchy taken off the air because it's too violent. Uh, but I just absolutely love love the contrasting attitude of the side character of Roger Myers Jr., who honestly just does not give a shit. It's just fantastic. I love the character, a really great side character, and I quite like his voice in the earlier episodes. I can't um, remember who actually voices the character, um, but it's several different voice actors over the overall timeline of The Simpsons. But yeah, a really great solid episode, one of my personal favourites. Uh, next up, we have an absolute classic, and probably my favourite from this box set, Bart gets hit by a car, uh, where Mr. Burns pretty much runs over Bart accidentally 
accidentally. And um, Homer goes to Lionel Hutz, the local lawyer in The Simpsons who lasted till season 10, I believe, uh, where the voice actor tragically passed away. But I love that character. Um, definitely one of the best things about the earlier seasons of The Simpsons, along with Troy McClure. Um, but Lionel Hurts basically just wants a cash settlement and wants 50% of that $1 million. And um, so they go head to head with Mr. Burns, who tragically outsmarts them uh, because they hire Dr. Nick Riviera and try to make out that Bart is more injured than he actually is. And so they end up with nothing at the end. But a really great episode. I absolutely love um, Bart Gets Hit by a Car. Just one of the best episodes ever of The Simpsons. Uh, next up, we have One Fish, Two Fish, Blowfish, Bluefish, where Homer is given 24 hours to lift, uh, live after eating a poisonous fish. Uh, the Way We Was pretty much an origin story of how Homer and Marge came to be. Homer versus Lisa and the Eighth Commandment which is based around Thou Shall Not Steal. Uh, Principal Charming where Principal Skinner tries to make a move on Patty. Next up we have Oh Brother Where Art Thou where Homer discovers he has a half brother called Herb and he accidentally ruins his successful car company which is just typical Homer Simpson. Uh, next up we have Bart's dog gets an F where Santa's little helper is misbehaving and not listening to instructions. Uh, Old Money, a really evocative episode. I absolutely love this one where Abe Simpson starts dating an older woman called B who tragically passes away and uh, leaves him a lot of money which uh, Abe is then conflicted as to what to do with. And uh, Brush With Greatness, which is a really great episode where Marge rekindles her artistic flair after Homer discovers some portraits of the Beatles. And uh, this actually features Ringo Starr, which is fantastic, so I really enjoyed that episode. And uh, for Disc 4 we have Lisa's Substitute, where Lisa gets very attached to one of her substitute teachers after Miss Hoover leaves. Uh, the War of the Simpsons, where Homer heavily embarrasses himself at a family party, and so Marge decides that they should go to couples counselling. And uh, Three Men in a Comic Book, which is fantastic, as Martin, Milhouse, and Bart go crazy over the first issue of Radioactive Man. And finally, we have a Blood Feud, where Bart is forced to give blood to Mr. Burns. Uh, so that's pretty much it for season two of The Simpsons, one of my all-time favorite seasons of the show. Uh, some great episodes included, and I uh, just love the improvements on the animation and uh, the overall storylines, which obviously evolve into so much more uh, in terms of the overall personalities of The Simpsons family and the rest of the Springfield citizens. Uh, so thanks for watching this review of the complete second season of The Simpsons. I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned for upcoming reviews of all the other box sets. Uh, so please leave a like, share a comment with your favorite episode from this season, and subscribe down below for more.